Good morning YouTube viewers and subscribers. What I've got before me today is my completely disassembled 10th scale shockwave buggy. And those that have watched my channel uh, saw that I had an incident with this that caused some damage to it. So I ended up having to buy some spare parts. Uh, one of the parts that I needed to get was a new radio tray. And uh, HSP is exactly the same brand as Red Cat Racing, so uh, that's what I got. The thing that took the longest to get was this differential case, uh, which I've already put the new case on my differential here. Uh, I ordered that thing like, I ordered these parts uh, maybe just a few days after the incident and it's taken until now just to get this case. It took a month and a half to get that case, so whoever that eBay person was in China that I got this from, uh, screw you, I'm never ordering from you again because I paid for that this piece and it didn't even ship for like almost two weeks. And then it took forever to get here because it must have gone by freight boat. Um, but anyway, so I'm not going to shoot a video of me putting all of this together because quite honestly it's going to probably take me a while. It's been over a month now and I gotta try and remember how things go back together. But in the course of uh, disassembling this I went up in my attic and found some of my old uh, nitro car stuff or buggy stuff, car stuff that I used to have years ago and I didn't have a whole lot of stuff left. I'd sold all the cars but I did find this little tuned pipe. Um, so it's an aluminum muffler instead of the plastic one so that's going to go on here which will be kind of cool um, and I also did do this let me zoom in here real quick show you I learned my lesson it didn't take long so I upgraded to the uh, shaft the electric start so I've got a nice electric starter here so we won't be having those pull start issues anymore so the other thing that's going to be new uh, when I'm done assembling this is I'm not going to use the uh, receiver that came with this because it actually took a pretty big hit. I mean, I have verified that it still works, but its longevity is a bit uh, of a concern to me. This thing is extremely lightweight. A friend of mine who buys out uh, estates contacted me, I don't know, several weeks ago and said he had a couple of these Hobby King radios. Um, I basically got them for half the price of uh, what they're listed for. So I think I paid like $12 each for these things. They're new in box, never been used. So I'm actually going to just use this one now. Just to say I've used it and see how it works. Um, so anyway, hopefully I'll get this thing together here very shortly and uh, we'll be up and running again. Okay, so the only thing I'm going to stop and actually show you is I've got my uh, main gear brake installed on here and I've got my engine loosely installed on the chassis now the screws that mount the engine to the mount I did put a drop of Loctite on uh, some blue Loctite so it can come off again I did not put any Loctite on these bottom screws because there was still some on there older stuff but the thing I want to show here is it's important when you're redoing one of these, when you're installing an engine on here, to get the proper gear mesh so that you don't either have it too loose and strip these gears out or too tight and cause excessive binding. So what I'm going to do here is I've got just a small strip of paper and I'm basically going to just try to run this piece of paper in here like that. And the piece of paper, from my experience in a past life of doing this, is the right thickness for setting the proper gear mesh. So what I'm going to do now is flip this thing over and screw and tighten these screws down while holding that. Just going to snug them. So they won't move and then just kind of check it here so it looks like that mesh I'm sorry that mesh looks good I only have this one piece I could probably make another piece of paper here real quick but I think I've got this set so 
Next, it's just going to be finish reassembling all these pieces on here.